All right, we are here with Angela Hill in Kansas City. Um, you have a big fight coming up. Who, who are you fighting this Friday? Um, uh, Kaylini Medeiros. Yeah, I know how to spell her name. I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> um, this wasn't the fight you were expecting, right? Who, 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 were, who, was, who were you, who did you think you were going to fight for the, your next um, title defense? Um, well, I thought I was going to fight Grasso. Like, uh, I was flown in when Grasso fought Jody Escabel, and the winner of that fight was going to get a fight with me, and it was, like, going to be this whole big thing. Um, I ended up cornering, cornering a teammate that night, so I didn't get to, like, sit sideline and do commentary or anything like that. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, like, that was the plan. Basically, Shannon promised me the winner of that fight. Um, after Grasso won, I was like, Shannon, let's do this, like, next month. And she's like, actually, wait one more month. And so I was like, okay, two months, that's not too bad. Or two cards later, that's not too bad because it's going to be Grasso and there's going to be a lot of eyes on it. So um, halfway through that time period, uh, I find out that Grasso gets signed to UFC. So I, I was pretty pissed about it. Like, not only did I want to fight her, but I wanted to fight on the date that I was told I was going to be able to fight. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. I had to wait another card, but then finally I got to book a fight with Kayleen. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Like, I feel like the more I win and the more I make a statement with my fights, the closer I'll be able to fight people like Grasso with a huge hype train. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I can be patient about it. At first I was pissed, but I'm okay with being patient. When you, when you have to start your training camp for this fight, like, does, is, obviously, I may be wrong, maybe wrong. Was the, moti was the motivation hard to find? Uh, no. <laughs> I was or, totally or was it, motivated. Or was it different? Or was it just different? Because this, this isn't the fight you necessarily, necessarily wanted. Well, it's not the fight I wanted, but, like, I've learned to not be too picky. Like, I've never cho chosen my opponents. I would always say, who's next? And then when they gave me the name, I'd say, great, win. You know, like, I've never said, oh, no, I don't want to fight this person or that person. Um, probably to my detriment, but um, I've just been that type of fighter. And uh, when, when they told me um, I wasn't fighting Grasso, really I just wanted to know who I was fighting and when I was fighting them. Because I wanted to get back in there. I was still like, I, the high from the last three fights had kind of worn off. So even though I did get three fights this year already, they were really close together. So I haven't really been able to, I don't know, just kind of, <laughs> I've, I've still felt like I need to get one more in between like May and the end of the year. So I was really happy just to be able to book this last fight. I trained just as hard as I would have with any other person. Like this, like Kayleen, like even though people don't know about her, like she's tough, she's, she's a hard hitter. She has knockouts on her record. She has submissions on her record. So like I'm not taking her lately at all. Um, it would have been nice to have someone to boost my profile, but like I'm, I'm okay with using this fight just to like be better, maybe I'll, be able to perform better with less pressure on me just because I know like not as many people are going to be watching but you know you never know like I, I'm just playing it by ear and like with this fight I took it just as seriously as the last one and everyone before then so like I'm always motivated just because like I want to do better my last fight it was too back and forth in my opinion like I, I hate like <laughs> I hate watching it and seeing the takedowns and seeing like where I could have done stuff and I didn't really do anything so um so I'm hoping this fight I'll be able to right the wrongs that I saw and and just make it like way more exciting uh and way more impressive than the last one um, how many fights now is this, how many camps rather ha has this been for you now with um, Alliance in San Diego? Um, this, this is my fifth camp. So I did my last fight in UFC against Rose. That was my first fight with them. Um, I was still pretty fresh there. I'd only been there for like uh, six or seven weeks. Um, but then uh, every fight after that, uh, I've, I've just felt really good in there, felt really good with my corner and really comfortable. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the fifth one with them. And, um, who are some of your training partners for this camp? Uh, Jessica Penne, <laughs> the beautiful Jessica <laughs> Penne. Um, uh, for, 
for this camp, um, Paulina Granados too. She trains with uh, combat or she fights for Combate Americas. Um, Christine Stanley and Victor Fighter, um, Kat Sagano. She came to our camp recently and has been showing me some really cool stuff. And then we have like you know the the guys who are always there. Um, um, some uh, what, what is uh, what is Tick's last name? <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel, blah, Tickosaurus, Rex. <laughs> you got Tick, Danny, um, um, Dominic Cruz. Obviously, he's been showing me stuff too. Like it, it's really just been a community effort. Like every, everyone's been really helpful. If I have any questions, like there's always someone there to ask, even if a coach isn't available. Like someone's gonna know more than me there, and so uh, that's been like the biggest benefit I think from being at Alliance is that. I've been able to uh, learn as much from the coaches uh, and learn just as much from my peers as from the coaches. So, uh, so yeah, lots of, lots of good training partners <laughs> there to boost me up. Awesome. Um, I guess there seems to be, I guess, maybe just what is the end game right now for an Invicta champion right now? Because it seems a bit confusing since the UFC basically you know, gave Grosso the call up, mm -hmm. but the champion didn't. Um, what, what do you feel you need to do, or is do you just like what 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 do you have to do to get that? I don't know if you want that that call, but just get that recognition that you are you know one of the best in the world. Um, well, everyone's path is different. Uh, for me, it's kind of weird because like with Grasso, you have that mystery: how will she do against the top five? With me, I fought the top five in my first like two or three fights. So um, that mystery isn't there for a lot of fans, but I feel like the further I separate myself from my losses and just keep doing well, keep improving, um, keep like hitting people hard and showing people that I'm an exciting fighter, the more people recognize me for the, uh, the progression that I've made and for you know, what I can pot potentially do in the future. Um, so right now I still feel super green. I still feel like I'm learning with every fight. Um, I still feel like I can hang with the UFC girls. I still feel like I could beat them. But at the same time, I know I have weaknesses that need to make those, my possibility of beating the people up top even greater. Uh, so that's really what I'm focused on now. I just want to get experience. It's the same as when I first got into the, just got into Invicta. I want to get in experience every time I fight. And um, it might be a little more difficult now that I have the belt. Now it's a little trickier to get matchups just because it it has to make sense. Like they're not going to give somebody who just got signed a matchup with me or someone who, who's debuting a matchup with me because it doesn't make sense. Whereas before, as a four and two fighter, I could probably fight anyone on the roster. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping that I can stay active, uh, you know, be like Cyborg, just knock out a bunch of people, and, <laughs> and soon that recognition would come, be it from UFC or, or whatever. Um, but, yeah, like, I think, uh, I think with Invicta, it's definitely a really good place to get experience against tough competition. Um, it may not be the best place to get, like, you know, a salary to support your kids on, but luckily I don't have any yet. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay with uh, just getting that experience and, and building my hype train because like my hype train is like a little caboose. I want a big old, uh, what do you call it? Bullet train <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> I bet, yeah, I got yeah. <laughs> How has it been? I mean, I've said this many times, you coming to the UFC, you unfortunately had three losses, but they were all against top five fighters, which is yeah, even higher than that, which is, I think is... The, the exhibition <laughs> works. Oh, ex As, exhibition oh, counts. You also had a win. <laughs> you know, and, you had, and, and people forget that win. You had, yeah, you had, yeah. You had a, a, a dominant win, uh -huh. but just because you had three losses, and, and you're clearly better than those three losses. In the, it, I'm out counting count the exhibition one, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> has it been... There are the, I just for lack of a better word, haters. Um, does it, do you feel that or do, does that drive you at all or is it, or do you not care? Because, I mean, the reality is just people, you know, like, oh, you lost. You're not, you're not good enough. Yeah. Um, I've learned to realize that haters will hate anyone. 
you know, um, it's it just comes with territory. There's always going to be someone on a couch saying that you suck just because they know you and you don't know who they are, you know. So there's always going to be haters. And uh, it fuels me, you know, it, it definitely fuels me. Um, after when <laughs> sometimes I look at screen grabs of people saying I'm going to lose and it like makes me laugh. I laugh while I'm like sipping my whiskey and so like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, it definitely fuels me. On the other hand, you can't pay too much attention to it because it can piss you off. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of favoritism with fans as well as with promotions like some people will get pushed more some people will be liked more some people will get more credit for what they've done than what I get for what I've done so um so I just have to make sure that I don't focus on it too much uh play a lot of video games in my free time keep me from googling what people are saying about me um and you know just like I, I throw myself into my training so when it comes down to it, I know whatever happened in there, um, I did the best that I could and I won't have any regrets coming out of it. So like, yeah, the haters definitely like just, if you're hating on me, <laughs> then you're fueling me, you know? Like it's it's not a, I guess it's not really a bad thing. It's just kind of a thing that happens and uh, it feels good to prove them wrong. And before we finish up here, you're in Twitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, tell, tell me about Twitch and how's that going for you? Yeah, it's gone pretty good. I actually uh, kind of had a little hiatus just because like training just got a little too intense and I just needed to <laughs> lay out when I got home. But uh, but yeah, I like Twitch. Twitch is really cool. Um, it's a fun way to connect with fans. Uh, I, I play with fans all the time. Like people just like pop into my, my uh, what do you call it? My... Um, what do you call it when you join a party? Yeah, people just pop into my party sometimes and be like, yo, and I'm like, hello? <laughs> you know, while we're playing like Battlefield or something. Um, but it's fun, you know, it's like a different way to connect with people. They respect you for like, for actually like being into it and stuff and sharing something uh, that they really love as well as fighting. So uh, it's it's been really cool. I like that community. It's like, community of nerds and dorks and <laughs> people like myself who appreciate uh, cosplay and you know it's just like it's a it's a fun community to be a part of so i really like it thank you very much yay <laughs> nerd yeah <laughs> nerd power